Hi guys. Uh, it is a hot, sticky, miserable midsummer day in February. It is a Sunday afternoon. It is February 19th, 2023, I believe, down here in the second collapse of civilization. <clears throat> here in the Mayan kingdom of Chulha, Mexico, on this steamy February day. And uh, so before I go dive in <clears throat> Laguna Azul to cool off, I'm just going to see what's up for today's Chronicle of the Collapse. And you'll be shocked to hear I'm going over <clears throat> back to medium.com from, uh, well, some group, although it's probably one person calling themselves Local Futures. Local Futures for today's Chronicle, and I'm so glad to see this. I have had this rant in my own words uh, <clears throat> many times, and I think Book Hermit has had a similar rant over the years, but we're going to let Local Futures explain once and for all in unambiguous English why the Anthropocene is not climate change. Thank you for people just coming down this rabbit hole and even for people who've been down this rabbit hole for quite a while cannot get the difference between the Anthropocene and climate change. They are not synonyms. <clears throat> anyway, take it away, local futures, and break this down for us. <clears throat> Anthropocene is a widely proposed name for the geological epoch that covers human impact on our planet but it is not synonymous with climate change, nor can it be covered by, quote, environmental problems. Bigger and more shocking, the Anthropocene encapsulates the evidence that human pressures became so profound around the middle of the 20th century that we blew a planetary gasket. Hello, New Earth System. Hello, Anthropocene. <clears throat> the phrase Earth System refers to the entirety of our planet's interacting physical, chemical, biological, and human processes enabled by new data collecting technologies like satellites and ever more powerful computer modeling, Earth system science reframes how we understand our planet. Climate is just one element of this system. If we focus on climate alone, we will misunderstand the complexity of the danger. The term environment helps us understand ourselves as part of ecosystems but fails to capture the newness of our current situation. We have always lived in the environment. Only very recently did we begin living in the altered earth system of the Anthropocene. The Anthropocene is a multi-dimensional challenge. Our future is more unpredictable than ever with new phenomena like category 5 megastorms, rapid species extinction, and the loss of polar ice. This change is irreversible. NASA says that levels of carbon dioxide are higher than they have been at any time in the past 400,000 years, well before our species evolved, causing the atmosphere to warm. 
the climate has certainly changed, but so too have other aspects of the planetary system. Take the lithosphere. 193,000 human-made inorganic crystalline compounds, or what you and I might call rocks. <clears throat> Where it happened? Oh boy, uh, my computer has jumped all around. Uh, okay, where did my, okay. The lithosphere, 193,000 human-made inorganic crystalline compounds, or what you and I might call rocks, now vastly outnumber Earth's 5,000 natural minerals, while 8.3 billion tons of plastics coat the land, water, and our internal organs. Due to modern agribusiness techniques, so much topsoil is vanishing away that England has only about 60 more harvests left. The biosphere is equally altered. Never has the planet been so crowded with human beings. And then he goes through the usual uh, you know, almost become a doomer cliche. I don't even, well, since I know there's some new doomers just getting here, I'm going to repeat this for the 10,000th time. In 1900, there were around one and a half billion of us. In the 1960s, around three billion. Today, there are over eight billion. Human beings and our domestic animals comprise an astounding 97% of the total zoo mass of terrestrial mammals, meaning that wild creatures make up a miserly 3%. Humans and our companion species occupy considerably more than half of the planet's habitable land surface. Concerning the hydrosphere, fresh water renews itself at the rate of about 1% per year but currently, 21 out of 37 of the world's major aquifers are being drawn down faster, in some cases much faster, than can be replenished. The planet's chemistry has changed also. Warmer oceans interfere with the production of oxygen by phytoplankton and some scientists predict that with a rise of 6 degrees C, which could happen as soon as 2100, this oxygen production could cease. Our production of fixed nitrogen is five times higher than it was 60 years ago. In fact, Earth has never had so much fixed nitrogen in its entire four and a half billion year history. Since World War II, synthetic chemical production has increased more than 30 fold. Of the more than 80,000 new chemicals, the United States Environmental Protection Agency has tested only about 200 for human health risks. Alarming as each factor is on its own, the concept of the Anthropocene brings all these factors and others together. This is the only way that we can understand Earth as a single reverberating system with feedback loops and tipping points that we cannot yet predict. The Anthropocene's interrelated systematicity presents not a problem, but a multidimensional predicament. Again, this I know this is Doomer 101. A problem might be solved often with a single technological tool produced by experts in a single field, but a predicament 
presents a challenging condition requiring resources and ideas of many kinds. We don't solve predicaments. Instead, we navigate through them. Collaboration among scientists, policymakers, social scientists, humanists, and community leaders is key to contending with the Anthropocene. Technology is important, but the hardest challenge will be about how to alter our political and economic systems. Even the United Nations $24 million Millennium Ecosystem Assessment back in 2005 concluded that our current systems are not up to the task. We need, quote, significant changes in policies institutions and practices that are not currently underway and uh, you better believe in the last 18 years that everything uh, in that sentence is more true than it was when the Millennium Ecosystem Assessment came out in 2005. So what is the danger of the one-dimensional thinking about climate change? So are the techno-optimists who believe most world problems can be solved by innovation wrong? The answer to this question is that they are not so much wrong as misguided. <clears throat> Addressing one narrow issue in the narrowest terms. Most begin by gesturing toward the totality of environmental problems, but end up by focusing on climate change alone. Sometimes climate change is further reduced to CO2 emissions to the exclusion of all other greenhouse gases, such as methane. A favorite example of techno-optimist like economist Jeffrey Sachs is substituting wind power for fossil fuels. <clears throat> like others, he speaks in confident tones about decoupling and economic growth from natural resources, contending that, quote, growth can continue while pressures on key resources, water, air, land, habitats of other species, and pollution are significantly reduced rather than increased. Close quote. By means of new technologies and market pricing. In short, you know, according to these clueless moron economists, in short, we can provide for the growing human population expected, you know, do your own population uh, forecast without destroying the ecosystem, without impoverishing future generations, and without bothering to transform our political and economic systems. The status quo is fine if we just tighten a few nuts and bolts, let us look at this techno-optimism from the Anthropocene perspective. Most industrial scale wind turbines require rare earth metals sourced from China, which supplies about 90% of the world's demand and has a monopoly on some elements. <clears throat> Not only are the mines of China's primary production site, the southeastern province of Zhanghai, being rapidly depleted, but such mining entails shocking environmental and social cost. According to investigative journalist Lu Hongao, quote, Research has found that producing one ton of rare earth ore in terms of rare earth oxides 
produces 200 cubic meters of acidic waste water, the production of the rare earths needed to meet just China's demand for wind turbines up to 2050 will result in the release of 80 million cubic meters of wastewater, close quote. Once obtained, this ore must be transported and processed to make turbines. These turbines, once positioned, require maintenance using more resources. Ultimately, though, they will end up as refuse, more trash on, a, on our trash-filled planet. There is nothing dematerialized or carbon-free about wind tar turbines if we look at the total picture. Reducing our problem to climate change, then to CO2, and finally to measuring emissions only at the point of energy production is a dramatic misrepresentation of our dilemma. An Anthropocene perspective is needed to keep the totality of the predicament in view. Slowing climate change is crucial, but navigating its challenges is only possible if it is understood as just one facet of planetary overshoot. The challenges of our altered, unpredictable Earth system cannot be met by technological tinkering within the very systems that pushed it over the edge in the first place. There is nothing for it to do. There is nothing for us to do but roll up our sleeves and begin the hard work of transforming our political and economic systems with the aims of decency and resiliency. There you go. So let's get rolling up our sleeves. Oh, God. Rolling up our sleeves to totally transform our political and economic systems. Yeah, right. Anywho, now that I got that off my chest. So, you know, I've been waiting uh, to go jump in the lake, and now that I'm ready to go swimming, I see the, uh, looks like the rain heading in, so maybe I'll just sit out in my chair uh, under a thunderstorm get out there and sit and sit in a metal chair under a thunderstorm while you still can my guys <laughs>